Good morning and have a look at my new print. This is a 10 inch drum shell with two colors that I printed for about 12 hours. It's the first complete drum shell that I printed not only as a test version but as a real drum version. I had my issues before after my big 20 inch test prints with again i don't know what the problem was maybe the layer adhesion because when i always try to print a circular shape these things here occur occurred i always had some straight lines and the connection to the uh, to the brim got lost as you can see, I still use the sugar water on the heat, heat bed. Works pretty fine for me. Um, as soon as I just um, increase the temperature, uh, the printing temperature to 240 degrees, everything went better. I guess I was just printing maybe a little bit too fast and the flow rate was too high, even with the Volcano. Um, I was printing now in 35 millimeters per second uh, with a 0 8 nozzle layer height about not exactly 0 0.5 and the layer width was one millimeter and yes I think I then yeah found the right spot with the 240 degrees um, hot and temperature and it worked really nice. I just then realized I ran out of filament and it, so, so I decided to wait until I found this, <laughs> yeah, the middle of the shell and then I just cut the filament up here so the sensor stopped it and everything went um, on hold and I then changed the filament. This is my little construction for holding the filament up there. I constructed a new part. It's a little bit smaller than the one I found on Thingiverse by Mr. Nex. Thanks for the basic idea, but I then changed the whole construction to, to make it screwable with those little screws holding the sensor. And it just takes a little, less material and I think it's a more elegant design. I changed uh, the distance from the sensor to the top part um, in, my next, in, uh, yeah, in my next version of this model but this is the first version. So I got a bolt up here and up there there's still my symbol holder filament spool. So so the spool had to be changed and after changing the spool the printer then kept on printing but the very first print was so fast it just ran around the whole shell for one layer and just created a mess. Everything was full of those big 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 blobs and, and, and things and uh, just pray that this shell will hold because I guess there's maybe one layer missing or part of, of a full layer missing. It kept on printing but as you can see a little bit of yeah a little bit of material is missing there. But overall I'm pretty okay with the surface. You see all those different Z positions, um, yeah, and some under extrusion, as somebody told me, you can see with those lines. But I'm okay with that for now. I will try to improve it later with the next print. So I'm pretty happy. And the biggest issue for me was also having a little angle here. I don't know whether you can see it here. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
So the shell just starts with a 45 degree angle. And this gave me a little bit of a headache. The whole shell is about four millimeters now. Oops, can you see it here? Uh, not really. Okay. On top you can see two. Yeah, yeah. So it has a small angle up here, and the same angle is on the bottom. So the whole weight has to then sooner or later rest on this small one millimeter layer but right now it looks really good i'm fine with that the holes were printed okay yeah i'm really happy with it looks stylish yeah a lot of experts will see a lot of things here but for me it looks okay looks like it kind of a jeans cloth with this glamour <laughs> look yeah so bye for now